Hey all, Russ here, Rear TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are down here in the beautiful place of Quartzsite, Arizona. First week in November, down here doing errands, getting caught up. This week I had the vote. Plus I got a bunch of stops. Tomorrow we're heading over to Blythe. Going to be filming right along the Colorado River. Should be a epic trip over there. Breezy winds, gusty, these uh, storm fronts, they come through, all they do is bring wind, no rain or nothing to the desert. But right up here, we're going to make a quick stop gonna stop see an old friend plus the brand new quartzite chamber of commerce right up here on the left this little building used this used to be the original bank around quartzite then it was a jewelry store all kinds of different things now it's sunset sheds of Arizona you guessed it Kurt and Kendra, let's go find them. That wind has a little bit of chill to it. I've got a sweatshirt on. Figures goes from the hundreds to chilly here. Quartzsite Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. They moved it. We'll get more information out of Kurt. And there you can see their sheds are moving on them around. He even sells, uh, what's that, little trailers, like park models. We'll find out. Alright, well, what do you say? Go on inside. See what this other sign says. Store hours, 8 to 5 daily. Graceland Portable Buildings. All right, let's go find them. There. Hey, hey, Kurt. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey, just sitting here in Quartzsite, Arizona at our new Sunset Sheds of Arizona. We call this the Shed Quarters, okay? The Shed Corners. That's the that Shed Quarters, yep. That covers all of our lots here in Arizona. Uh, we recently brought in the visitor center here in the quartzite um, into our office uh, give them a little more exposure so come on in and see what we've done okay now tell me real quick where was the old office and uh, now what's the address here so this address here is 79 west main street and so the uh, quartzite chamber of commerce used to be down the down the road uh, we brought them in here like i said for a little more exposure so 79 west main street is sunset sheds shed quarter and the chamber of commerce new office all right let's go check it okay this over recently it was heavily dilapidated you know the roof falling in and termites and all that good stuff yeah and, uh, kendra did a lot of the work uh, frank Brown right there, uh, built our Graceland um, facade back there. Yeah. So it looks way different than it used to. And this used to be the original Quartzsite Bank. Right. Like the first bank in Quartzsite. Long time ago. Huh? So over here is the Chamber of Commerce. There's Mondo at the wheel. Barbara, customers. Barbara's getting a couple of metal buildings from us. Say hi. Hi. That's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> hi. Pleasure to be here. So we moved the Chamber of Commerce in here, and then along with that uh, is the Visitor Center. So come on in. So this is the Visitor Center where you'll come in to get all your pamphlets, um, get all your, if you're not uh, following RV or TV with the where to goes <laughs> in Arizona, you can come in here and get some literature. Uh, mainly this focuses on what's going on locally. Yeah. And the maps of the art off-road and all that, right? Yes, it got all that. And some of this I'm not that familiar with, but um, a lot of good information here. Yeah. So a lot of foot traffic. Um, it helps our businesses. It, it, our business helps uh, the Chamber's business as well. Okay. Now, ours now, they can actually have access to the visitor information 
more than the old location, correct? Absolutely. So we are here literally seven days a week. If Sunset Sheds of Arizona is open, the chamber's open. And we come in at 6.30 in the morning. And if you know me, we don't close till way after dark. Right, right. So so it's a plus plus, you know, win win because from the old location now, because the old location only had three to four days open a week. Yeah, I believe that was right. So yeah. I wasn't. Uh, uh, affiliated with right. them then but right. now I'm a director and we got Larry Lord at the wheel as our president Nancy Nichols is our vice president right got a lot of good and we're all business people and yeah. so our chamber of commerce and tour, tour uh, excuse me visitor center we're focusing on local businesses okay now the big question everyone knows you from prior uh, sure. with me wind spinners so that's right what's uh, up so come on been, Kurt uh, my wind stuff uh, after I don't know how many years, 15 years or whatever, uh, it's taken a little bit of a back seat, but we still, we're still in that. Um, I've got something on the computer over there to show you that we're pretty excited about. Okay. So and this will be a Premier Kites and Designs product, uh, okay. but we had these made specially for uh, Quartzite. So if I did the garage on Oh wait, side, who's this young lady? <laughs> hey, check her out. I'm the one that's trying to keep up. <laughs> Kendra. <laughs> Yay, the better half of the duel. That's right. Yeah. She's, she's the smiles of the operation, right? <laughs> so right here, Russ, uh, you can see. Check it out. The quartzite camel. I'll be darn, and it'll be a spinner. It'll be a spinner. I got a couple other items. Check it out. We got the quartzite camel on a bicycle. Okay. And last but not least, I'm trying to get there. There we go. We're going to do the quartzite balloon with the camel and the queue and um, some desert stuff in the background. So those will be available here also at 79 West Main Street. Um, so my win stuff, come check us out. Okay, what's the number here? Well, phone? 785 324 2709. And they asked for you, right? They or could. Kendra. They could, yeah. yeah. Kurt, Kendra, Nanda. We Nanda. got about eight of us now, so with all the lots. Oh my goodness. Yep. So, but they can buy the spinners, get information from the chamber. All of it, right? That's right. Get yourself a shed. Okay, and what's the old word you used to say? I don't remember. See ya! <laughs> well, how cool. Congratulations, Kurt and Kendra. They are the two hardest working folks I ever met. And you can still get the spinners. All right, well, from here I need to run over to Tyson Wells. We'll do that real quick. Sneak through here. Let me do a loop around here. Here's our buildings. Yeah, Cavco park models. Look at that. They're backing one up right there. Then all the sheds. Metal ones, everything. Good for them. I think also uh, food vendors are going to be setting up. Uh, I got an email from somebody from Dayton, Ohio. They're bringing their barbecue rig out. I believe they're going to be setting up down here in this corner somewhere. I forgot to ask Kurt. We will next time. All right, well, let's take the scenic route. Heck yeah. That's the post office straight across the street. We'll just make a big loop. Come back on queuing. Town's getting a little busier. People trickling in every day. Now that it's November, it'll start picking up after Thanksgiving. That's when you're going to see a bigger uh, uh, migration of people here. Because a lot of people still visit families through the holidays, at least Thanksgiving. Then once that's over, they hit it for the desert. Snowbird time. Oh, you know what is up here on the right? Solar bills. Make sure you stop in and say hi to Gus and Rose. You know, behind their building there is the old Quartzsite Jail. 
historic jail. It even has uh, history clear back to Wyatt Earp days. More old ruins on the right back there. I think it was Judge Hagley. And welcome to downtown Quartzsite. <laughs> the Stagecoach uh, Motel's open. They got a Chinese restaurant in there now. Big yellow tank on the right. And there's KMB Tools. Stop in and say hi to Kenny. So all your seasonal guys are opening up that bar and grill closed for good. They are no longer. I think the only bar left is Sally Al's Pizza. And you got all the rock and gem guys down here downtown. That building on the right, that was the old chamber. It's no longer, so everything's down there at Kurt's. What did he say? 79 West Main, I believe it was. Jerky store, that's always open. And then all your fast food places and gas stations down here. Make a left. And we'll cross over the world famous, and I mean world famous, exit 17. The one you never want to take in January. Always take exit 19. Fun to be back. Good to be home. Definitely good to be back. Long summer. We got all kinds of new video coming out all winter long. I think I've mentioned it already. So through the fall and winter, about once a week or so, I'll be popping out a new video from the summer travel series. Like Washington State, Columbia River, Mount St. Helens, Idaho, all over the place. Bear Tooth Highway in Montana, Red Lodge, Montana, South Dakota Black Hills. I mean, you name it, there is a lot to be seen yet right here on RV or TV. Plus all the winter activities gonna be right here in the middle of it. Still way early. That's uh, Desert Gardens right off to the right. Usually the rock guys. They sell in big bulk, rough cut like truckloads of rocks. They've been doing a ton of uh, resurfacing there on Interstate 10, which that needed it. That was probably one of the worst sections we're going right through here. All right, I just need to make one quick stop up here at the game store, say hi to Kim Scott. Had a couple questions. I'll see if their t-shirts are in. We'll check that. And they fixed all this up. Brand new road. This is Tyson Wash where it floods through. So they're getting ready for the crowds. We're what? Seven weeks out to the end of the year already. Okay. Look at all the vendors. My goodness. That three tent setup, that's uh, new. They're setting up. Here's some of the food guys setting up. Coffee guys here. Cool. All right. Let's pop in for a minute. Ooh, 
they got new calendars. Desert Bloom calendars. They sell out within a week of those. Here's your off-road atlases. They always stock those. Penny pincher machines. Looks like one of them's down. He'll get it fixed. I see those things all over the country. Very collectible. Crossword books. Down here, the t shirt. This was the question did they get them in? And I would say, yes, they did. There they are. So the Quartzsite Arizona shirts. There's the Peace Trail shirt. Get you a Tyson Wells and Quartzsite. They're all back in stock. There, there you go. And puzzles. All right. Let's keep on rolling. All right, you guys are tagging along with me today, just doing errands. Look at that K and B set up over here too. They got two locations: one on Main, one here at Tyson. And looks like there's a e-bike guy, and they're starting to bring in the rocks. Lots of rocks and quartzite. They just announced all the show dates, too. I'll put a link in the description for the Tyson Wells uh, website. Alright, well, we'll take more of the scenic route. <laughs> Quartzite ain't that big. Every street's scenic. <laughs> Back over I-10. past uh, town park up here. I need to run over to Arizona Sun RV Park real quick. And you can see there are a lot of RV parks out central here, both sides. Not too many rigs. There's the VFW. Sunset Grill's open. Look at that. Oh, we're stopping there. I'm hungry. I can get a burger. We are stopping there when I'm done. Best burger in town. Okay, you can run up here to Chandler. Make a right. Okay, right up here is the town park. Told you it'd be scenic. Where else are you going to find this kind of scenic travel? Right here within Quartzsite. <laughs> joking, joking. If you've never been here, it probably looks different. That metal building right there, there's a Quartzsite Community Center. There you actually got workout gym equipment in there. For like a dollar or two donation, you go and use it. Plus, that's a cooling center when it's super hot in Quartzsite. 
All right, we're on East Coil Trail right now. There's the airplanes, tiny little park with grass there. Also, you got the dog park. I think I showed that in the free camping video. Which, if you want to learn more about the free camping around Quartzsite, I'll put that link down. I did a video here a couple weeks ago showing all the dispersed 14-day free camping areas around this town. Okay, right up here is Arizona Sun. There are my buddies. Barb and her husband Robert have been managing this for years. I just need to make a quick stop, talk to them a second, then we're going to go get that burger. Go to the Sunset Grill. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, look at the side of the building. They got hit with a windstorm here. Just ripped the awning, everything off this building, but they're still open for business. Alright, this only takes a sec. Are you hungry? Heck yeah. Now right there, that dirt trail to the right, that's part of the Arizona Peace Trail that cuts through town. And just past these water tanks, there's they uh, put in a big parking lot. Just so you can park your truck and trailer there and go out in the ATV all day long. Big old staging area. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, tomorrow. We're going to run over to the Colorado River. Got a couple cool uh, places planned I haven't been to in years. Gonna be filming along the river. Then in a couple days after, heading over to uh, Palm Springs. Brand new RV resort. Same owners of River Sands on uh, in Ehrenberg. They just opened another one. They asked me to go film it. We're going. Gonna cross over the Mojave Desert right on I-10. So all kinds of cool stuff coming up. All right, gonna make it right up here. You're actually seeing some of the back streets of Quartzsite. Most people don't show this stuff through here. It's all the residential areas. There are all kinds of lots with RV hookups. Here it is. Here's Sunset Grill. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Ponce, congratulations, Sheriff Ponce. He just got reelected four more years. My good friend, Will Ponce. All right, got me a cheeseburger coming. She's only open like four days a week right now, but as the season gets progresses, she'll be open seven days. They have fish fries here. It is just 
excellent, excellent food. And you can sit inside their little building there. But this is probably my favorite place to grab a burger in town, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, well, it's pretty much the end of my running around today. I really wanted to show the visitor center, the brand new uh, Chamber of Commerce. Good to see Kurt and Kendra. They are very successful now with the buildings. And it's good to hear they're still gonna be doing the wind spinners and those custom made quartzite wind spinners, those will be fun. So don't forget to get you a camel wind spinner from them. He said they'd be in in a week or two. All right, more back streets. see more of the residential areas a lot of mobile homes houses big lots a lot of these older lots are anywhere between a half acre and a full acre lots plus RV parks nestled back through here there's over 80 I believe 75 to 80 RV parks around town here and some are small some just have a few hookups some are huge we'll go up here to moon mountain head back down the main street i'll show you a couple more places around while we're doing our back street drive around see the RVs right there there's several little sites here's part of Tyson Wash they will close this street if it floods there's the gates but it's designed that way. That's the storm drain system of uh, quartzite. Make a left here on Moon Mountain. Straight ahead, there's a elementary school for quartzite. And there's the quail restaurant. They're open, I believe, seven days. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. New owners took it over. They got pretty decent food. Once again, Sunset Grill's my favorite. And you can see some of these are like HOA mobile home parks where they have park models. I'm not sure. I think you own the lots on some of them. They're deeded lots. Some aren't. More RV parks. But it's just everywhere around here. There's the food bank on the right. And here's your senior center. Forgot about that. They got bingo once a week in there. All kinds of activities little craft fairs Salvation Army's on the left then they got a new mail service right there in that building on the left as well so there you seeing it right here on RV or TV <laughs> look at this right back on Main Street hard to get lost here huh
For more information on me and my travels, be sure to check out my website, rvrtv.tv. There you can sign up for e-newsletter. You can uh, also read articles and blogs about previous travels and future ones. Whether it's around here, quartzite, on the road, across the United States, all kinds of cool stuff. Once again, it's RVRTV.TV. Plus, got the new Armchair Traveler coffee mug series are out. And shirts. So, check those out. Those make great, great gifts. RVRTV.TV. Well, we can't finish the day unless we see the high jolly tomb huh? <laughs> see another low RV park right back here right next cemetery if you like ghost hunting this is the place to be and that pyramid shaped thing right there there's your high jolly tomb all right well thanks for tagging along today just had a few errands, thought I'd fire up the cameras, have fun. Really wanted to show the new visitor center in Chamber of Commerce. That's kind of cool. Otherwise, it was closing down. So they kept it going. Hats off to Kurt for doing it. All right, journey continues. Talk soon.